was hard, harder than I thought. My legs were a bit heavy, but it was good, good sweat. What was the, what was the run? 5K every six minutes. No, 1K every six minutes, five times, <laughs> total of 5K. <laughs> I wish I could run 5K in, <laughs> in five minutes. So our focus is to stay consistent instead of like going hard and need to rest. So I was trying to hold around 5.30 pace. I was trying to hold 5.20, it was, got a bit hard. I, I could do that last week, I felt so good last week. But today I'm a little bit more tired. My legs. I know sometimes you just go into the zone and you're just, you don't even think about anything. That's a little bit what happened. Just music on and, and yeah. I think it's because of my lifting later. I'm focused for that. Are you excited about that? I am, if it goes well. <laughs> no, I, I'm excited. It's just, I just need to not put any pressure on, like not have a, specific number in mind that I want to hit. Just go with with a feel. It's kind of my problem now. I'm always thinking about my old numbers and comparing it to that instead of thinking about what's the most that I lifted after I started again. Because I've had a hard time with like coming back from or starting again after an injury. Because I'm I always have the what I used what I used to be able to do and then I get like half of that like if I'm doing ring muscle ups or something like that so I just wrote down like my my dream goals my uh, like realistic goals and then here's each week so like my my dream goal in the open is top five in Europe and top ten in the world that's my dream goal uh, the realistic goal is just make it to regionals top 40 and um, and then I write here is every week until the open is over, and then I would write the regional goals here. So now it's every week until the open and during the open, and what my goal is each week. better than expected I haven't yeah last week I couldn't snatch more than 70 kilos today I snatched 77 and a half and I snatched 75 two times <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that and the cleans I haven't gone over 85 kilos in seven months so today I went 92 and a half so it was way better than expected and I like there's enough left in the tank for me it's just committing to the weights again. What was the goal? Today, uh, more than 70 and more than 85 kilos. <laughs> so I did that. Pretty happy with that. Now it's food time. So hungry. How cool is my dress sweater? <laughs> I was always like the, the tall girl and the strong girl. Like I was different from other girls and I was always really jealous. I wish I could be like them. I remember when I was in, 
what do you call it? Like the, the gym in school, P. No, yeah, P. Like I was got always really red on my cheeks, and all the guys were always making fun of me. So I just stopped going because I didn't want to be red in my face. Girls weren't supposed to be red in, at their face and weren't supposed to like work hard in, at gym. It was just the guys' time. That's how I felt. I mean, it wasn't like that. It was just stuck in my head. Like girls should always be pretty and and uh, skinny and shouldn't be that strong. So I think I was just embarrassed of who I was and trying to be something else. And that just took my self-esteem away. I always wanted to be an athlete, but I never believed that I could because I was a bigger girl. And yeah, finding something that I was finally good at or finding something that means something to me is has, I think, helped me so much to be where I am now. It's like when I started training, I could do two push-ups and I was happy with that because it was on my toes. Now I'm like, I can't even do 80 meter on broken handstand walk. It's like, it's, uh, yeah, you just fight different levels on where you want to go. And I, I don't think that, like, I don't think that I ever believed that I could be where I am right now. Like, if somebody would ask me, I would be like, oh, I'm gonna be a chef or something like that. So I think it's, uh, it's helped me a lot to realize that if you work hard, you can actually be good in something. I always gave up on everything when I was younger. So I always proved myself right by giving up, by how bad I was in everything. Instead of now, I'm like, just, I never give up. Either I, I don't get what I want, and I'm still trying to get it, or, or uh, yeah, the hard work pays off. <laughs>